to Cabinet Vision version 12. Our case, drawer boxes, and countertops were broken out into their own wizards. They've now been combined into one assembly manager. Here we can take the drop down to select the different types of construction available. You'll also notice that the images have been updated and there's now a connection branch available. Here we can define the joint type in this scenario as well as the connection being applied. The connection will define which operations are being used. The connections available are defined in our connection manager which we'll look at in another video. And if we look at a component like our top, we'll notice that our edge banding has a slightly different option here where we're defining which edge type the uh, banding will be applied to. And now if I browse to our type of top being applied, in the past if I wanted to have let's say top stretchers for my base cabinet and a full top for my upper and tall cabinets, I would need to create a breakout and I'd have to answer these questions for this entire component for that class of assembly. However now I can create a breakout specifically for this question. So I can select upper, top, and do the same for our talls. If you accidentally add one, you can just click on the X to delete it. And now if we go to our drawer boxes and go to general, in the past we could define our standard heights, but it could be kind of confusing for what unit you were using. Now we have an option to flip back and forth between metric and imperial.